What's good y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel and in today's video We're gonna be checking out 15 times that the Simpsons actually predicted the future Now one of the video clips is not a part of this compilation But a couple of you guys have sent it to my DMs and I actually found it to be very relevant and very interesting But apparently the Simpsons also predicted the sinking of the Titan on another episode, bruh like, these people are too on point, whoever the creators are of this show. Now, there are a lot of conspiracy theories that say that the creators of The Simpsons or the directors are actually time travelers because they predict the future way too often and have way too accurate predictions. But we're about to hop into this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about all of these Simpsons predictions. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. Watch this episode of The Simpsons. They go deep down in the ocean with these submarine looking vessels to a sunken ship to find treasure. Once they find the treasure, look what happens to them. These waters contain some of Mother Nature's most stunning creatures. We got somebody else coming in. This is WA3QIZ. Do you read me? Seymour, isn't it about time you made a real friend? Mother, please, I'm communicating with my fellow hams. How do I talk? Push this button here. You're all losers! <laughs> oh, which way did Mason go? That must be him over there. Tell me that right there is not exactly, unfortunately, but tell me that is not exactly what happened with the Titan that just imploded, bro. We Americans love Queen, be they homecoming or dairy. This woman, however, is an imposter. Shepard Smith at CBC Global Headquarters, we interrupt regular programming to announce that the Royal Palace has just informed Great Britain's Queen Elizabeth II has died. Oh, looks like our birdhouse is benefiting from positive word of peace. <gasps> Brace yourselves, family. We're about to meet a being with intelligence far beyond ours. Hello, I'm Elon Musk. Die! What the? The world's richest man is now promising a Twitter name, <laughs> renaming his own no. account Chief Twit and proclaiming the bird is free. Nah, bro, that is crazy. That right there was crazy. It seems like technology is freeing one bird at a time. And then Elon Musk, owner of SpaceX and Twitter, comes out into a spaceship and, and fucking tech that techs out. A, 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 huh? I can't even speak. That was a very, very accurate prediction, bro. Crazy. Comes to the Simpsons, they wow. are legendary and infamous for their ability to see the future. They've been uncannily accurate throughout their history and have predicted everything from future world leaders, the crashing of certain nations' wealth, who would win the Nobel Peace Prize, and more. But the catch with this is that their ability is so well known that many people will say that they predicted something accurately, and yet that isn't true. 2020 has been quite a year in terms of world events, and it's left people wondering what ones did the Simpsons accurately predict? We'll break it down for you, but before we do that go ahead and do us a favor by hey, leaving a yo. like on the video subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us and with that being said let's get straight into the video do you want to win an iphone 12 maybe a macbook pro how about 500 dollars cash all you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video that's boys the death of the queen 1596 1598 1600. Sweet. Next 
excellent question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. Given how the Simpsons predicted the rise of Donald Trump to the presidency, you'd think that they would have made a claim about when certain world leaders would pass on, specifically Queen Elizabeth II. She was someone who had a big impact on the world for decades, yet everyone knew she would pass on eventually, and there were some claims that the Simpsons predicted her death for 2020, but they didn't. Helen, why shouldn't I wearing a hat? Yes, yes you were. Now in conclusion, my administration will focus on the three R's. Reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. Thank you very much. It all started when a cartoon huh? version of the longest reigning queen in British history became viral. In the image, the queen was seen lying in a casket, and below it was written Elizabeth II, 1926 to 2022. Rumors started airing as this image contained a sticker in the background from The Simpsons, displaying the D-Day date, September 8th, 2022. Please note that all such images and memes were as fake as they come. In reality, The Simpsons never predicted the queen's death. Various reliable sources clarified that the queen appeared as a character on the American sitcom only six times. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The country is broke. But in none of the instances, it was ever predicted that the queen would pass away. It's honestly a little surprising that they didn't, given their satire over the years, and they've killed many characters in one form or another. We guess the late queen was one they didn't want to predict for one reason or another. Number five, robots taking over. Facts. Power's out. Mm, your father must be sleeping on his side again. The Simpsons team of writers have continued to astonish fans with their eerie predictions. In season 6 of the series, Homer was seen feeling threatened for his life when a bunch of robots came to harm his family. It was said, gotta listen to me. The elementary chaos theory tells us that all robots will eventually turn against their masters and run them up. Oh, and the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's a more. <laughs> Eprom Bios Auto Boot. Now this is something that has been showcased in Love Death Plus Robots too. While the prediction hasn't become an absolute reality, the incredible advances in technology and the AI's takeover are signs that this could potentially happen. Conversation robot. mode. They can. I robot is another movie, bro. Another crazy movie too. Talk. I just have to press this button, right? Human interaction mode activated. Initiate conversation. Will you be my friend? Friendship cannot exist between man and machine, but I can simulate interest in your statements. And it's something that's been happening already. FYI, PwC predicts that by the mid-2030s, up to 30% of jobs could be automated. It has also Damn. been reported that machines would replace 40% of the world's workers within 15 to 20 years. So whether this is true or not, it depends on your interpretation of taking over, because it's very true that robots are becoming more pronounced in our world today. So far, the little dickens is going through that phase where young boys think their dad's an idiot. Sounds like you were having family difficulties. That's exactly what I'm having. So, uh, it's five o'clock. Time for most. My watch says three, four, five. Let's go. Our programming restricts our movement. And they're taking over jobs, but they haven't overtly hurt people. Then again, you could argue that this is an inevitability due to the military trying to make various robot companions and drones to help out soldiers in the field. So as in all things, it's perspective. Number four, Shiba Inu. Professor Frank, I want to thank you so much for letting me visit you. Oh, you got started in science. Oh, science? Well, I was created by science, my dear child. Oh, this me. But I never had my breakthrough. In a world of Einstein's... Cryptocurrency is something that people are still debating to this day in terms of efficacy. And don't get us started on NFTs. And given that Bitcoin has been around for over a decade, it was logical that the Simpsons would touch on it eventually. And sure enough, they did. In 2019, a startling prediction was made in the Simpsons Season 31, Episode 13, called Frinkcoin. Yeah, but anyway, I will explain cryptocurrency by clicking the link to TV's mom. Beloved scientist. Think so. For cryptocurrency to work, we need a record of every transaction. In this episode, the writers made a comical mention of the crypto coin called Shibu Inu coin. It was narrated that the Simpsons family was eating lunch at the Lentil Institution when Lisa chooses Professor Frink, developer of Frink coin, and interviews him. It's too bad your name isn't famous. No idea what that means. What do they teach you at that school? How to get the teacher's call. Parsons! People think I'm a nerd, but I'm actually... Frenzy. 
Kachinga. These are recorded in what's called a distributed ledger. Mr. Frank becomes a rich man thanks to Frank Coin, but later gets involved in a tussle as Smithers gathers a team to create Burns Coin, developing a formula so it could evaluate Frank Coin. During the episode, a newspaper clipping showcases the face of Shibu Inu Coin. How did he make his money? Paraffin? Castor oil? Well, but I have it in my crypt. No, sir. This is a new kind of digital currency based on blockchain. Oh! This new currency has made Professor Frank the richest man in Springfield. Fast forward, Frank loses all his money in the process. In May 2022, the Shiba Inu coin dropped down by 16.5% to 0.00001494 cents. But still, it remained significant that the Simpsons rightly predicted the fall. Not only this, the series has mentioned several other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP all through its episodes. We're going to be fair here, the Simpsons aren't the only ones to predict the fall of crypto. Hi, Professor. I wanted to see how you're enjoying your newfound payoff student loans. This is strange, strange. I have the fame and fortune. Well, maybe it's time to take care of yourself now. What are the things that you've always wanted? Bad bit unwieldy. Many financial people have been saying for a long time that it would crash. A recent drop in the market has enforced that, but the Simpsons did make this specific prediction, and thus, we have it here. Number three, Tom Hanks. Hmm? Are you tired of the same old Grand Canyon? Here we are, kids, the Grand Canyon. It's so old and boring. I want a new one, now! Mitch! Oh! I'm Tom Hanks. This scene is one that many have cited over and over again was a correct prediction from The Simpsons, but it wasn't until 2022 that it became a truly valid one. If you've watched the 2007 movie, The Simpsons, there is a scene where Tom Hanks makes a cameo appearance in an advert watched by The Simpsons family. In the David Silverman directed film, it's shown that during the commercial, a father takes his children to visit the Grand Canyon. However, his daughter gets unimpressed by the old structure and demands a new Grand Canyon. The U.S. government has lost its credibility, so it's borrowing some of mine. Got some of my hair, Mr. Hanks? Sure thing, son. This is when the American culture icon and multiple Grammy winner enters the scene. The splash actor says the U.S. government lost its credibility, so it's borrowing some of mine. The irony became very apparent this year via the current U.S. president. Hanks did appear in a commercial and spoke about the country's determination to overcome the economic hardships following the COVID-19 pandemic. The video it's revolves crazy. around America's theme of rebuilding its economy and highlighting the success of Biden's administration so far. So yeah. The government did call on Tom Hanks to help their credibility. <laughs> now, I'm pleased to tell you all about the new Grand Canyon. Coming this weekend, it's east of Shelbyville and south of Capital City. Life imitating art. Number two, Ukraine war. Uh, junk, junk. Beyonce confirms she will play at my daughter's Sweet 16 party. Easily one of the most tragic events of this year is that of the war in Ukraine. It's still going on right now and many wonder when it will stop. While Russia's invasion of Ukraine was inevitable in most pundits' eyes, social media users think The Simpsons must be credited for predicting the event in the late 90s. In the episode The Simpson Tide, Season 9, Episode 19, which premiered in 1998, a United Nations meeting is featured, where representatives of each country meet to discuss their country's plans. Well, sir, treason season started early this year as a nuclear sub was hijacked by local man Homer Simpson. Oh, my God! I told him that photo would come back to haunt him. Could Homer Simpson be a c His father spoke out on his behalf. The representatives from Russia argue that they wanted the rest of the world to assume that the Soviet Union was in the past. A scene comes where one can see several soldiers lying beneath the Soviet Union flag. While well, the prediction was instantly termed real when Russia invaded the Ukraine in That's February crazy, 2022. However, one of the writers of the show argued that this prediction was merely based on the everlasting tensions present between the two countries. That didn't stop people from saying that this was a real prediction. And as a result, they made images with images taken from multiple episodes to affirm the prediction. The Soviet Union will be pleased to offer amnesty to your wayward vessel. The Soviet Union? I thought you guys broke up. Yes, that's what we wanted you to think. <laughs> it's all fake. And while the Simpsons have done war episodes in the past, they don't directly do things like predict war with other nations. Or at least, not this specific one. Number one, 
the future reveal episode. The irony of all of these real and fake predictions is the fact that The Simpsons is soon to have an episode in their current season that will reveal the truth behind how The Simpsons has correctly predicted so many things in the past. And make no mistake, they have predicted a lot of right, but they've also gotten plenty wrong by their writer's own admission. We know that the real truth behind the predictions is the writers have the time and the foresight to see where things are going, and trying to predict things through that. How the upcoming episode will handle the truth is anyone's guess, but we can say that it likely will be pure satire and allow them to cover their bases for whatever predictions they make next. Just remember, Mullet's Club- That's insane, bro. The fact that they're able to predict these things is absolutely crazy. But look, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm gonna catch you on the next one, man. Peace.